John 15 says, there is no greater love than to lay down your life for someone else. And this is how these guys love each other. Is there anything else that I'd say that love is? Anything else that defines true love? Yeah. Love is a decision. I bet a lot of you married couples know that. It's much more than a feeling it's a decision. Good or bad, happy or sad, doesn't depend on your feelings. It's your identity. It's the way that God loves us. God loves us because he is love. For Jesus not to love us, his bride, would be denying his very self, be contradicting who he is. Love is who he is, and it's what he does. And Beckett, I would challenge you to see yourself that way. You are the man that loves Audrey. It's who you are. It's what you do. To not love Audrey and to give everything for her would go against the very core of who you are. And Audrey, I would challenge you to see yourself that way. You are the woman who loves Beckett. It's who you are and it's what you do. To not love Beckett and give everything for, for him would go against the very core of who you are. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his son, his one and only son, God loved the world so much that he gave. This is the original kind of love. This is the highest kind of love. This is the purest kind of love. This is the strongest kind of love. And this is the kind of love that lasts forever. And it's my prayer for you, Audrey and Beckett, that this kind of love will continue to fill your hearts and to fill your home from this day and forevermore. Audrey Miller, I promise that except for Christ, no one, not even myself, will come before you in my life. I vow to always be your husband first, to walk humbly each day with you, recognizing the great gift that the Lord has given to me and you. I promise to always be on your side no matter how I feel in a moment and no matter how difficult our lives may get I promise to always look to Christ first never trying to take his place in your life but always seeking to be a conduit for his infinite love for you but most of all I promise to lead you as best as I can I promise to love you with everything I have <laughs> Beckett every time I look at you I can't help but thank God for blessing me with you you've taught me more about who Christ is through your love and your grace and your service for me and others right now as we stand before God and our friends and family I commit myself to you I commit myself to you as you are now and to the person God has created you to become. Though our future is unknown to us, I'm excited to walk through it with you. 
I promise to celebrate with you in the good times and persevere with you in the bad times. I promise to be your biggest supporter. I promise to never stop pushing you closer to the man God has made you to be. I promise to encourage you, to honor you, and to respect you. I promise to trust you. I promise to be honest with you. I promise, no matter the circumstances, to choose grace, to choose love, to choose you. You have made a covenant with each other before all these people, and you have sealed that promise with these rings. And so by the power vested in me and the laws of the state of California, I pronounce you husband and wife. Beckett, please kiss your bride. My privilege to introduce to you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Beckett Milhouse.